Here's another class one two-dimensional problem solved for you. Um, you'll also be happy to know that I poked around in the options and I figured out a way to turn the annoying clicking noise off whenever I clicked my mouse. So that's good. It was very annoying when I watched the thing a little bit ago. Um, there might be some visual animations on because I was poking around at some of these and I can't see them as I'm recording the video. So that said, let's look at the problem. You're playing shortstop. That would be on a baseball team or softball ladies. You scoop up a ground ball and toss it to the second baseman at a speed of 22 meters per second. The ball leaves your hand going perfectly horizontal. The ball reaches the second baseman 45 seconds later. How far were you from the second baseman and what was the vertical drop of the ball during the flight? My picture over here is supposed to, it's as best I can do, you all know my artistic skills, but this is the height that the ball leaves your hand. This green arrow will be how high your hand is from the ground. As the ball goes, gravity pulls it down, and the second baseman catches it right over here, and it is dropped a certain distance, which I labeled with this little red marker here, this red arrow. Um, you are not interested in how far above the ground you are. You are only interested in how far it dropped. When we say, you know, drive off a cliff, hit the ground, that's some kind of artificial barrier. So um, we're really measuring how far its displacement is, what delta D is from starting position to ending position. Um, so that said, the first question is um, how far for you, were you from the second baseman? So that would be we're measuring this blue arrow. And then what's the vertical drop? We're measuring the red arrow. So let's write down what we know. As always, we'll start with the vertical. We do not know um, what its drop is. That is what we're looking to find out. In this one, we do know the time. We know that it took point zero, excuse me, 0 0.45 seconds. And, well, that's kind of unusual. I'll hit on that in just another minute. Vertical, again, this is always like it's just dropping. So um, it travels at 0 meters a second to start with. So that's what we want to ignore is velocity later. As usual, acceleration is 10 meters per second squared. Just type that correctly. Uh, now, horizontally, um, we don't know how far you were. That's the first thing we're trying to figure out. That's the blue arrow. How far you were from the first baseman, excuse me, second baseman. Um, your horizontal velocity is 22 meters per second. Uh, just like with vertical, we're going to choose to ignore your velocity later. Of course, since your acceleration is <laughs> since your acceleration horizontally is zero, then um, your velocity later is going to be the same as your velocity starting. Uh, but again, we're going to choose to ignore that. So now this one's a little different than the last one we worked because we know time. And that actually makes it easier. Look, I know, knowing time, I know three things horizontally and three things vertically. vertically. So in both cases, we get to use Helen. There's Helen. Let me give us just a little more screen real estate there. Now we'll, um, let's do, you know, I, I say we need to do the vertical first because that's because we usually are trying to decide, determine time. Um, but we're going to do the horizontal first. Uh, just because it'll be fun, well, not a lot of fun, but some fun because um, we are at no time. Now, again, as I've said before, this thing is a little hard to solve um, when, uh, it's rather hard to solve when both of these terms are not equal to zero. But horizontally, we have acceleration equal to zero, which means this term goes away, and we're left with this. Look, this is where you put the velocity, and this is where you put the time. And when you work that out, which I'm going to do on my handy-dandy calculator, you get that it comes out to 9.9 .9 .9 meters from you. Uh, it's maybe 30 foot or so, halfway between the bases, roughly. Um, and now, we need to do the same thing to figure out vertical um, displacement and there is violet for vertical but um, the first term is zero because v sub s is equal to zero 
So it reduces to just that. And it too is pre-solved for us. I love it when that happens. And in our numbers, we get, and that's what it looks like. Um, and when I do that on my calculator, square 0.45 seconds uh, times 10 times 1 half um, is 1.0125 meters. 1.0125 meters um, is the amount of distance the ball dropped. If you threw it at uh, shoulder level, then that would be about knee level, roughly, that the guy caught it. Um, so you might want to aim it a little higher next time. Um, let's look at units just for a second. Here I have seconds, but they're inside of parentheses that get squared. So when they come out of that parentheses, they are seconds squared. So my units are meters over seconds squared times seconds squared as a separate unit. Um, so seconds squared in numerator, seconds squared in denominator, they cancel. And it leaves you with just meters, which is what you wanted anyway, because you were looking for displacement. So there, another easy one. Hope that helped.